Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Lex program to recognize a valid arithmetic expression. Uh, within this expression, we want to recognize identifiers and uh, the operators. Identifiers are only numbers and operators are only plus and multiplication in this case. At the end of the day, we want to display these identifiers and uh, operators over here. So first, uh, we will start with uh, the definition section of uh, the Lex program that starts with percentage followed by curly brace, ends with percentage symbol followed by closing curly brace here. We will try to include all uh, the header files here, the required header files. The first required header file is stdio.h. Uh, Second one is uh, include. Uh, you can say that uh, string dot h after that we need some integer variables let us say that i which will store the number of identifiers and then uh, there is something called as let us say that uh, o which will uh, store the number of uh, you can say that operators initially it is equal to zero and then one looping variable i will take that is k and then we have a variable called as flag which is equal to zero initially can set it to anything that's not a big issue and then uh, we will create one character array let us say that uh, identifier that is id of uh, 10 of uh, 10 uh, this is to store the identifiers op is to store uh, operators in this case so i will take a 10 of uh, 10 again in this case now coming back to the rule section which starts with the two percent symbols and then ends with uh, two percent symbols uh, first we need to recognize the identifiers uh, identifiers are just numbers so it will start with 0 to 9 and then uh, there may be one or more 0 to 9 in this case so within this thing uh, what I do here is uh, I will increment this particular flag value whenever I see an uh, identifier and then I will uh, uh, copy that particular identifier into uh, ID in this case so that is uh, str cpy uh, and then uh, op of uh, you can say that uh, identifier comma yy text that is the matched content and then i will increment i plus plus because uh, we have seen one identifier the next one should be stored at the next place over here so this is a simple idea i am trying to uh, copy that matched content into that's a operator not operator it should be identifier okay and then uh, id uh, i will be incremented here and I am incrementing this particular flag here whenever I see an uh, identifier whenever I see an operator I will decrement it the idea behind using this flag is uh, we know that uh, any arithmetic uh, expression that is a valid arithmetic expression contains something like this uh, for example uh, 2 plus 3 in this case 2 and 3 are the identifier plus is the operator so if you see the relationship between this the number of identifiers are always one more than the number of operators for example if i add a uh, star 4 here two uh, operators and three identifiers in this case so that is the reason uh, once entire expression is consumed the flag value should be equal to one because uh, uh, it should be one more than the number of operators in this case so that is the idea behind using that uh, uh, the flag in this case now we want to know the operators as i said earlier we are interested in only these two operators so the action part in this case is again same a flag will be decremented here whenever i see an operator and then uh, strcpy here i will put this particular matched content uh, into operator that is uh, op of o o is nothing but the number of uh, uh, what you can say that the operators in this case i will increment o by one here now uh, these two rules are enough uh, in this case if anything else is uh, seen for example it is an uh, uh, you can say that anything apart from that we, we are not much interested in those things or a new line character what we do here is uh, we will return zero in this case return zero that's it we are not much interested in these particular cases here now i will go to the main part int uh, main here uh, within this particular main uh, what I do is uh, I will ask user to give the input that is uh, printf uh, we will ask user to enter the expression once the user has entered the expression we will send that particular expression to the rule section 
here once uh, the entire input is consumed we are expecting flag should be equal to 1 uh, if that is the case the expression is valid because uh, the number of identifiers should be one more than the number of operators here so we will check this particular condition that is flag not equal to one if that is the case what we do here is we will print f uh, like uh, invalid expression that is as simple as that we will print a very simple statement like invalid expression over here I will add a new line statement here also I think this much is enough here now coming back to the next part here else what we do here is in this particular part if flag is equal to 1 if not equal to 1 this is the case if it is equal to 1 it will come here uh, we will use uh, one print statement printf and then uh, we will write operators are again on the new line i will do one thing i will add a new line here also and then i will close this particular thing i will start for uh, k i have taken as a looping variable so k is equal to 0 k is less than operator that is o o is the number of operators k plus plus here within this uh, loop we will try to use a printf statement again and then we will print uh, you can say that on a new line uh, not new line uh, we will print uh, percentage c and then uh, tab here and then op of you can say that k okay so this is how actually we can print the number of operators here so i will take the same uh, code again okay within this particular else part this is identifiers now uh, i identifiers are again it will start from k is equal to 0 but now k is less than i because i is nothing but the number of identifiers here i have to print id in this case so this is the only change i have supposed to make here now once uh, this thing is done uh, uh, we have cross checked the whether it is a valid expression or not uh, if it is a valid expression we have printed it and we can add one more statement here also I just uh, copy and paste it here this is uh, if it comes to this line it is a valid expression okay so I will print a valid expression and operators and identifiers will be printed here once entire thing is done I will go to int uh, yy uh, wrap here uh, within this particular thing as I said earlier we need to write one line that is uh, written one in this case it's as simple as that so we will try to execute and see this particular thing uh, I will just clear this particular screen first uh, we need to execute or uh, compile this particular program with the help of lex that is operator operand dot l we will get a c file that is uh, lex dot yy dot c so gcc lex uh, dot yy dot c you will get an output file that is uh, dot slash a dot out if everything is fine i think uh, we have a small uh, ch thing uh, change we have to make uh, percentage C will not work I think uh, I will go back and then I will change it to percentage yes that's the best option that is a string here because that is a character array we have taken again I will try to clear it and then I'll compile with the help of selects first and then uh, compile the C file with the help of GCC now it is working fine the a dot out will be executed with the help of dot slash out now i will enter the expression here uh, expression in this case will be 2 plus 3 now it is a valid expression plus is operator 2 and 3 are the identifiers one more time i will execute uh, 2 plus 3 star 5 uh, in this case plus and star are the operators remaining are identifiers again it's a valid expression we will try to execute it one more time 2 plus 3 star definitely it is an invalid expression yes we got that particular thing over here so this is how actually uh, we can write a very simple program to uh, check whether the given expression is valid or not also to recognize identifiers as well as operators over here i hope uh, you understood the program if you have any questions put them into the comment section uh, if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching